Uh, it's Chi Michelle Birdsong, Eve, Mother of All Living, Daughter of the Sun. Uh, this uh, name of this video is, well, you're looking at a picture of Jesus Christ, the Buddha, now being Govinda Singh Dillon. Okay, and I have my faith in him. Okay, the name of this video is Eve Shares Info from the Front Line. And uh, here's an important video to watch. It's called The Greatest Depression. It's at the Corbett Re Report channel. Solutions, decentralization of everything. The creation of our own communities. Guerrilla gardening, farmer's market. Go to Corbett Report and type in solutions in the uh, search bar for more solutions. Okay, the economy uh, is productive human activity. Video, ALC freaks after finding out illegal aliens do not benefit from stimulus package. That's at the Next News Network. That's a very short video. The Western Journal, Cuomo admits New York has stockpiles of ventilators. Okay, another video I recommend. Fiddling the figures, the magic trick, David Icke virus update at the David Icke channel. This is an important video to watch. Lots of information. Okay, now this is a um, video uh, says this is right here is what's wrong in our world. And this is at the High Impact Vlogs channel. Okay. Now where is the video I want? Oh, I have so many videos here. Uh, I'll just tell them to. They're all important. Video Fox iHeart Concert gives a voice to left-wing stars who despise God. This is, uh, and then he recommends you read uh, Matthew 24, chapter, 7th verse. And this is at the Inspo News channel. This is a very, very good video. Very good. God created that celestial spark we call life. Life decoded. L for will, I for I, F for feel, E for energy. Will I feel energy is life. I will feel energy is life. Life will, uh, L for will, I for pleasure, F for feel, E for Eve. Will pleasure feel Eve? Eve will feel pleasure and pass it along. More uh, Bible verses recommended, Proverbs 23, 3, and Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. Video, never let a good crisis go to waste. Hyperinflation is next. This is as the AM TV channel, alternative media television channel. Psalms 91. One, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's reassuring, right? Okay, now this is the, uh, what I want to comment on. It's called Starlink, the ultimate frequency weapon. Now this video has a lot of new information and some of it went over my head, but I did the best, I did um, the best to take notes and to share with you. And this is at the Phoenix Enigma channel and I think the host's name is Corey. And his website is 
https dot uh, colon slash slash the phoenix enigma dot com and he said Elon Musk this first got my attention he said Elon Musk has 3D printers printing ventilators Corey believes the Christians are right the um, mystics were right the occultists were right they're all talking about the same things they're just giving it different names note from Eve Jesus Christ being Charon Singh now being Govinda Singh Dylan said the same thing Corey believes the Bible is true I've been finding out the Bible is true Maharaja Charan Singh said astrology is a science, but it's very, very difficult to find a good astrologer. My daughter Robin Michelle Birdsong, being Galileo, is a good astrologer. She's been warning me about a Saturn Pluto aspect. I'll ask her for more details, and I'll listen closely and pass what she discerned along to you. Corey's guest said, we can't get the satellites down. He said, they're being controlled from the ground. Eve says, I hope they can be disassembled and brought back down to Earth and the heavens returned to normal. I hope drones are also disassembled and rendered useless to hurt innocent people. And uh, one of them said, either Corey or his guest said, a comet has May 31st close encounter with a son. Eve says, what's going to happen? Baba G says, no harm to the son. None is more powerful. He created creation and everything in it, don't forget. Okay, Corey or his guest said, the speed of light changes in water. In a video they showed uh, was admitted the speed of light changes. That's how they were able to make the lasers work properly. And then he reads from Revelation uh, chapter 18, verse 9. And uh, then he says, In one hour, every merchant on earth can be destroyed. Everything is being run by the Internet. What happens when they control everything? 42 satellites. That means um, they have omnipresence like God. Info about you on smartphone is being sucked up to satellites. They're tracking you via your cell phones. They are monitoring every phone. 21 million cell phones went offline in China. The technology is in the phone. They duped everyone. The chip is in it. F-R-I-D-A chip we pay to carry with us. Cell phones work off oscillators. 42 equal, the number 42 equals the duration of suffering. See at his website, Ancient Mystical Physics. One dimension of the Bible. A multi-dimensional, he thinks the Bible is a multi-dimensional coded knowledge. Genesis chapter 2 verse 19. Start gathering up everything. A mountain of fire falling from the sky, which is an asteroid. Somebody recorded the trumpet sound from the sky, which was foretold somewhere. The Bible, probably in the Bible, the Bible talks about people that will not see, that refuse to see. Anything that happens, they make excuses. People still trust the government. In 1945, the Third Reich ended. 60,000 Nazi engineers were brought to this country. Now, they took over NASA, CERN, the Starlink, and Space Force. The Fourth Reich is the New World Order, is the United Nations. The World Health Organization reports 
to the United Nations. Okay, then he says, if Trump is in a white hat, we're in trouble. People are into Q. Eve says Q is Trump's son, Barron. The mainstream media gives you primary news. We're still talking about mainstream media's bullshit. People said to him, to Corey, you're turning into the mainstream media. You're following the path of Alex Jones. You flip-flopped. Complete, and then uh, one of the Corey or his guests said, okay, complacency kills you. Complacency means, Eve looked up, a feeling of smug or uncritical satisfaction with oneself or one's achievements. Smug means having or showing an excessive pride in oneself or one's achievements. Pride means confidence and self-respect as expressed by members of a group, typically one that has been socially marginalized on the basis of their shared identity, culture, and experience. Example sentence. The bridge was lit up in rainbow colors. Note from Eve, rainbow stolen from the children symbolic of LGBT pride. Starlink, the ultimate frequency weapon, continued. Excerpts from it continued. Infrasonic weapons. You'll feel sick, confused when they're used against you. It's broadband Wi-Fi system that you can't get away from. How does chemtrails that you're breathing affect you? And then Corey's guest said, they can move nanoparticles throughout your body, can cause infection in your sinuses and lungs. They can quickly send a frequency that makes people drop dead. That's, that's how they can create a, a virus. Our only hope he said someone can drop satellites. It's completely out of our control. Humanity is being eradicated. That's torsion physics is 42,000 satellites. CERN can bend space and time already. When you reach into space, something reaches back. God and Adam almost touching fingers the painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel comes to mind. CERN is the largest machine on the planet. Why do you need all these satellites if we're just waiting for someone to reach back? Freq they are frequency masters. Now, they're talking about the Fourth Reich. Reich. Okay, those Nazis that were um, exported to America. Uh, it's taken them 70 years to get all this power, which is over our heads. So, like I said, I depend on God and His Son, God on Earth, God in the human form. Corinda Singh Dillon. Okay, so Corey sound out by saying, stay safe. They're going to knock you down with sound, not bullets. Okay, so then he showed uh, an impressive closing with President Reagan speaking and lots of alternative media people, pictures. Uh, a lot of them I know, like uh, Amazing Polly and Gavin McGinnis and... Stefan Molyneux, who is um, Aristotle, and uh, but many of them I did not know, and I would like to know about, but he didn't have their names, so I don't know. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this, and um, it is new information, and it's frontline information. So um, 
keep an open mind and uh, keep your faith and read your Bible, say your prayers, and don't worry. So long. Uh,